Hey, what is up, guys? It's Harrison here from the Mini Muffins, and today we are back with Life is Strange episode four. It's almost near the end, guys, and it makes me sad because I love this game. And uh, where we last left golf, oh my gosh, where we last left golf, we saved Chloe's dad, aka William. Um, well, go back and watch the other episodes uh, if you haven't seen them. Otherwise, you won't know what is going on. But we uh, we saved Chloe's dad, and through the picture that the one, last one he took. But instead, Chloe became paralyzed, and I became in the vortex club. Yeah. So let's see how it plays out. Huh. Just seeing me hanging out with Victoria, just ma Victoria, made me mad. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch, touch me, me again, freak. <laughs> Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Carl, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's creepy. Why did the principal have him on his computer? I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she's banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. So sad. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have they changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. And she's in a wheelchair. Uh -huh. Jeez, this game took a turn real fast. I did not expect that to happen at all. I knew something in that picture would probably come in later on or play in because they kept showing it. But you know what? I did not know that would happen. There's the whale. No, that's a. Is that the whale or the stump? I don't even know. Who knows? Like a tree stump. Who even knows anymore? So calm and quiet. It's weird. Kind of awkward, honestly. Very awkward.
It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are now. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my interviews have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so max. So pretentious. <laughs> but I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations with this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Not the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. It's depressing, like it's just weird. No one's even paying attention to it. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Uh. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't, don't say, say anything. anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Oh, wow. Oh. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. <sighs> Do you think so? I haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes, makes sense. sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel it right. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you anymore. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? <laughs> it is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. Oh, no! No! Oh, it's so weird. Pretty high tech layer. Feel like a high tech spell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. 
I know it's hard for you. You're grateful you were here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I can't take it. I have to stop. Whoa. I wasn't even doing that. Uh. So. Didn't she say get a water? Water? Something? So. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. You were just trying to save her dad. Trying to do a good thing. Let's go give her some water. Drink up, Drink up. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish we could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. So depressing. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. It's become, become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems, seems like we were kids in another life. <sighs> seems like yesterday. Uh, uh, what do you remember? You're right. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We figured everything in flower, even my parents. It was so hilarious. It was about a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Yeah. Should I say which friends? Or you have me? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Wheatley, but you don't know her. She was cool. Megan Weaver. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. Oh. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to use your max, Supermax. And I'm not trying to kill you. You always call me Supermax. No. You and Longley, are they okay? They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Uh, can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. You're priceless. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I'm no geek when I do one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie if you can spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do. When you That'd be crazy, her with blue hair. I swear I won't fall asleep. She's gonna fall asleep. She's gonna fall asleep. I already know it. Drip. I'm just gonna snoop through everything. Here's the DVD. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Fire Mitch tape. Snow globe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to watch a movie. Imagine it just makes us watch like the whole movie. Just like an hour and a half. Uh, oh, it's just a computer. That's a nice computer. But she can't stage dive anymore. The Black Agate Club, Black Flag Tribute Band, Dorothy Twister, <laughs> Dorothy Twister, <laughs> oh my gosh, Piss Hag, Low Pang Eyes, The Gisco Boys, Groovy so Goalies. Hot Wheels chat room. Uh, I wonder which one's Chloe. It probably said, probably, uh, Miss Blue, just as a pun, because, you know, she did have blue hair. Okay, well, let's watch a movie, I guess. Who <laughs> uses DVD players anymore? What a freaking nerd. She used a PS4. So the movie just automatically came on. You know what, that's fine. This is so freaking sad, like, ugh, it's depressing, like it's sweet, but it's just, mm, mm, -mm. Chloe, wake up, yep, they both fell asleep, <laughs> hypocrite mats, so, like, why, like I was saying, I mean, it might not really matter, but what about I Kate? We fell asleep so fast. What happened with Kate? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner runs a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. And he uses some pretty decorous replicants. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch of a woman. That's not something I do. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just working kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? <sighs> it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Swag upstairs. I'm on it, Chloe. What's up here? Oh. Okay. Well, there's William. Let's go talk to William since it might be the last. Which is just still depressing. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> How can you bother me? I haven't You're seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. He does look exactly the same. He hasn't aged at all. Like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh... Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... 
I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. You're just always five years late on everything, aren't you? All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Uh, I'm glad you're here. She's amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. Will you? Uh, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce care room. Let's talk about the care room. room and all the high tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. Fuck. But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Uh, so pointing. Well, I guess we'll talk about you Joyce. Know how you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh,. I'm just gonna go back. No, let's talk about the, the Prescott, Prescott family. family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <laughs> Evil. Next oh, question. Want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards or fan estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. Okay, uh, just keep me from these bills whenever you want. I got a message from Victoria. Nathan was worried about you. Hit me up. Silence. So if you want to help, my door is open. Love you. Oh my gosh. This is weird. I got some mats. Are you busy, girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I uh, told you I'd help you out. You never. Okay, drama stop. Uh, come by my room tonight. All right. Oh, Baka. Okay. Matt still has, like, the same personality, though, even though she's part of the Vortex Club, too. You're right, okay. Huh. This is so weird, Nathan. In the dark room? Whoa, 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 what? Yo, yo, yeah, Max, you around? What? No, developing. Maybe that's not what the black, what the uh, black. I mean, the dark room is used for anymore. Like something weird with his mom. I mean, no, this is Alyssa. Huh? So weird. I 
This is all so freaking weird. Look at this. Whoa, wait. I'd like to see what she has about her. No, there's no people. Okay. This is all really strange. Life is strange. Morphine injector. Let's go see. Where's her morphine injector? That sounds weird, but... Sitting here? Wait, isn't this her old room? Or her room in the other reality? Oh, he is! Oh, he is. At least we never had to hide from step douche. <laughs> a blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Doubt it. I mean, they bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Oh, Sherrison. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott mm. Foundation. Thank you for keeping me. Oh, it's so sad. All of this. Shoes. Chloe always, always did love stomping, stomping around in her. her. I never heard much about William's brother. Airing. Okay, it's a cool name. Cool name. I'm not gonna sit down. I guess we stopped growing up together. I don't know where the morphine injector would be. You'd think it'd be in the back.